All right, guys, I have another request that I need to do. Uh, determine the number of moles of carbon and 25 grams of carbon. And part B is the number of moles of helium and 10.50 grams of helium. And part C, the number of moles of sodium and 15.75 grams of sodium. So, yeah, we've got a, a bunch of calculations to do here. So... Let's go ahead and uh, make sure we have a periodic table handy. So let's see, I've got mine right here. So we've got a periodic table, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, um, let's see. Um, here it says determine the number of moles of carbon and 25 grams of carbon. So we have given to us 25 grams, that's 25.00, four sig figs now, 25 grams of carbon. Okay, we're going to put our given over one okay now next let's match our units up for our dimensional analysis if this is grams of carbon grams of carbon would go down here now what do we know about grams of carbon well i need to find grams of carbon i need to know a, a conversion factor the only place that we can get that is off the periodic table so basically the second time that you have to write grams of carbon or grams of anything on dimensional analysis you have to have a periodic table to find its molar mass. Now, the molar mass of carbon, if you look, is 12.01 on this periodic table. So we're going to write that here. 12.01 grams of carbon. Now remember, this is called molar mass. Molar mass. So up on top, we're going to write one mole. One mole of what? Well, we just looked up carbon, so it's one mole of carbon. Now it says determine the moles of carbon, so we're done with this calculation. All we need is a, a calculator, so let's get us a calculator and let's punch this in. We have 25.00, which is not necessary, but you know, divided by 12.01. Uh, 12.01 equals. Now we need four sig figs, so we're going to write down 2.08 one that would be our four sig fig but to the right is a five and some other numbers so that one becomes a two so 2.082 what moles of carbon okay so we're done with that calculation so let's box it in okay so a is complete okay let's work on b now on problem b they want us to determine the number of moles of helium. Okay, they're going to give us 10.50 grams of helium. Now that is our given, so let's put our given over one. Let's set up our dimensional analysis. Now what units diagonally go to the bottom? That's right, grams of helium. So we'll put grams of helium here. Now this is the second time that we've written grams. I told you to be prepared to use the what? That's right, the periodic table. So let's look up helium here. Okay, on the periodic table, helium, HE, has a mass of 4.00 grams. Okay, that's its molar mass, so let's use that. Okay, so we're going to write that here 4.00 grams of helium. Now remember, that is called molar mass, so we're going to write one mole up here. That's one mole of helium. Okay, we're done with this calculation, so let's do it. Okay, we have 10.50 divided by 4. Once again, the zero zero is not necessary, I'm just doing it because that's what we have on the screen. Equals, and we have four sig figs here, so let's use four sig figs, and that's what we have. So we have 2.50. 625 what? You guessed it. Moles of helium. So let's box this answer in. Last but not least is problem C. Let's go ahead and do C. On part C, we are trying to find the number of moles of sodium. Okay? We're given 15.75 grams of sodium. So we'll write NA here. 
put it over one. Now, once again, diagonally to the bottom goes what units? If you say grams of sodium, you're right. Grams of sodium. This is the second time that we've written grams of sodium. So look at your periodic table. Grams of sodium is 22.99 for its molar mass. That's what's going to be recorded here, 22.99. And remember, this is called molar mass. So we're going to write one mole. Sorry, you probably laughed at that. But one mole of sodium. So that's one mole of Na. So now all we need to do is punch that into our calculator. We've got 15.75 divided by 22.99 equals we need four sig figs six eight five one so zero point six uh, eight five one and what's the units you guessed it moles of sodium okay well guys I hope these uh, three conversion problems from grams of a particular uh, element or atom to uh, moles of that atom was helpful. Alright guys, y'all have a great day.